Being a rally driver involves a lot of hard work, dedication and training. Tony and Craig will now tell us what it takes to be a rally driver. So Craig, we've seen the difference between the cars and the rally itself. Now tell us about the type of training that's involved for a top rally driver today. You have to take part in a, in a training day. Uh, I think there's two or three schools in Ireland that you can, you can do your training through. Um, and yeah, you start on, like, on, a, on a tier basis with your licence. Uh, you can only start off in a small car to start with and then you must do a certain amount of events and move on and on. So it's all about learning. Um, you know, they don't want to let young drivers in, into a, a very fast car straight away. Again, going back to safety, you know, you need to, you need to uh, learn how to control smaller cars and then progress from there. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, you can't just jump in and straight away and get in at the deep end. It's, it's a training process, again, all being revolved around safety. But you need to be very, very mentally fit. Um, you know, you're leaving the hotel up at the bed at sort of before six o'clock in the morning sometimes and then not getting back until 11, 12 in the night. Uh, and you know, your meals aren't, aren't very regular because it just doesn't, the environment doesn't allow. So yeah, you need to be very, very mentally, mentally fit. Um, and yeah, I, I work extremely hard at trying to keep myself at peak fitness. Uh, I train probably two times a day, uh, probably four times a week. Um, and I work with the FIA Institute to improve my training, uh, different workshops and also with, with fitness trainers in the UK. So it's, uh, it's probably overshadowed by a, lot of, by a lot of drivers, you know, and they don't really look in depth into how fit you need to be. But when you get to, to a top rally driver scale, you need to be very, very fit. And it's, it's one of the biggest, biggest parts. And Tony, you're a young rally driver who's just started competing the last couple of years in rallying. Tell us about your experience in rallying since you started. Well, um, thank God it's been mostly positive, Aaron. Um, you know, like because of the training I've gotten uh, with rallying and to get the license and stuff, as Craig was talking about there, um, we've had to go through safety training and stuff like that. So it's, you know, the fact that I've gone through all that training um, and got my license and stuff and I, I was out in the car or whatever, you know, and, you know, was able to have the confidence in the car, um, you're always going to have mishaps. And this time, um, you know, I remember my first accident and I wasn't that long rallying and I just came far too fast down a hill into a corner, caught a bit of gravel and I was straight into a fence. Um, and like I just remember that day walking out of the car absolutely perfect. Now a wee bit shaken from having an accident, but totally perfect physically. Um, I mean the car was a bit damaged, like. But I just think if that was in a road car, I would have been. I mean the car would have been wrecked, and I would have been definitely hurt. Like. Finally, what message do you have to any young drivers who think that they can drive the same as yourself on the public road? Stop. I think that's the biggest message. Uh, keep the race in its place. Um, you are going to end up on the front of all the newspapers for all the wrong reasons and you're going to be a, a member of a very, very horrible uh, you know, percentage of people that are killed on the roads. Um, it's a horrible group to be in and uh, yeah, we just need to emphasise how, how dangerous it really is to be, on, to be on public roads and driving at unsafe speeds. It's totally different, it's just not at all the same. Um, you don't even have as much confidence in a road car because you don't feel as safe. You literally are safe as a house when you're sitting in a rally car, like um, all those safety features. And the safety training that we had as well through Motorsport Ireland um, has made us so much more aware um, and confident in what we're doing. Um, and at the same time, when you have an accident, you're that bit more confident as well because you just completely trust the car and know that it's going to save you. I hope you enjoyed our discussions with Tony and Craig. As you can see, there's a big difference between rallying on a closed road and driving in an ordinary car on the public road. If you are going to attend a rally in the future, we ask you to follow the rally driver's example by driving within the speed limits, always wearing a seatbelt and never ever drinking and driving.